Good evening, teacher. Hello, Guadalupe. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I am very happy. It was a very good day today. So, thank you very much for being here, being on time. That's the most important thing. And for sure, to have the opportunity to be in class once again. Yes. Well, have you had the chance to practice? Yes, I have. Okay, that's very, very good. Let me see. We are going to be working today, practicing a lot about past tense. We are going to practice on sentences. We are going to practice on the different structures of it. So hopefully it's going to be a nice and very full of practice class. Okay, so let me open my presentation so I can have it ready for all of you. And we can start working. Right now it's a private class just for a while. And here it is. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about the verbs, right? So we're going to work a little bit. I know it was a, a difficult and challenging thing to send the verbs, to be practicing, and to be like, ah, oh, it's going to be okay or not, or or yes or no, right? So was it difficult for you to record the verbs? Mm, some, some of them. Some of them. What was the most difficult? Uh, to remember if I say to, tour or toward. <laughs> toured toured yeah. because it's it's from the tour right from the action of tour right yeah. so I toured with the third it, that yeah that's one of the most challenging ones but it's not impossible right the idea is that we we can just practice them yes. as much as we can right good evening. hello good evening welcome thank it, you it's a pleasure to have you all here and for sure, to be ready to practice, right? To be ready to practice and for sure to be ready to uh, work as much as possible. Okay, so let's see. Excellent. So let's work on today. I am going to start our night. Hello, Francisco, Laurita, Wendy, Lorena, and Ursula. It's a pleasure to have you here. Hello, everyone, they say. Jorge Francisco, lo hemos visto como dos veces nada más en cámara. <laughs> yeah, well, we haven't seen your face, Mr. Jorge Francisco. But hopefully we will do it. Okay, so this here you have our friends, right? Our friends of the day. Estos fueron los más odiados del día. <laughs> yeah, pobrecito. Si las pobres slides tuvieran sentimientos, esta fuera la más llorada de este día. Así como todos me odian, go on. <laughs> so in this one, remember, as we have the D sound here at the end, so you say toward, toward. Right, you have toward. The next one, okay, Jorge, thank you for sending us the picture. Toward, consider. One of the most common problems that I heard in all the audios was when you say uh, weighted, right? Weighted, wanted, and included, right? The other one was uh, happened, happened, because they say happened, happened with E, and it's not with E, right? It's happened. With the D. and also brushed and that that was uh, one of them say <laughs> like brushed brushed with t right and eh, teacher algo que noté en id fue que cuando ld va a preceder una vocal o consonante no in the case of the id okay in the case of the id the difference is in the verb in this one. La diferencia está en el verbo, eh, Jorge. Cuando el verbo termina en T o cuando el verbo termina en, eh, 
en D, land. El siguiente va a ser pronunciado como id. Si termina en T o en D, ahí sí, es id. That's the form of the verb. Suggested, porque suggest, si se fijan, termina en T. Boat termina en T. T porque la E en este caso es muda. Wait termina en T. Want termina en T. Shout, hunt, adopt, accept. Paint, contact, hate, include, que okay, include termina en de, en este caso la e es la, la, que no está, la que es muda, say land termina en de, y near que también termina en de. Todos los terminados en te y en de se pronuncian como id en su forma pasada. That's the difference on this one. So you say suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted. Hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contact, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. Okay, there you have the E sound. The V, right, and the T sound. Good evening. Hello, Sandrita, good evening. Welcome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, pobres mis verbos fueron los más odiados del día. Se like, oh, teacher, no me salen. <laughs> that I am very glad that you took the challenge, right? The most important thing is that you took the challenge because eh, that's the most difficult part. La, más, la parte más difícil del idioma es romper el esquema de me da pena. No lo hago porque me da pena, no lo hago porque me avergüenzo. Como no, no, right? So eh, we need to be very, very careful on that one. And for sure, eh, to take the lead, right? It's not like, I no, no me oigan porque me da pena. No, not at all. The idea is that you can practice and that you can develop uh, your abilities. Okay, Josue, thank you very much for telling me. <laughs> yes, Jose Francisco, excellent. Thank you for the ones that are, that are uh, sending questions on the chat. I love when you have when you have a lot of questions for me. That's pretty awesome. Well, I will keep listening to the rest of audios who you just sent today, okay? But most of you did a very good job, okay? El romper la barrera de hacerlo ya era ganancia. <laughs> because that's one of the, the, the most challenging parts. So, Here we have, we are going to start the day with a little reading in past tense. And it says, uh, listen first, we are going to identify the verbs. That's the first thing that we are going to do. Can you help me to identify the verbs? Let's analyze this by sentences, okay? Cuando tengamos una lectura, la vamos a analizar por oraciones. This is the first sentence, right? Because there you have the first period. And it says, One autumn evening, Charles and Ben went to the theater. What is the verb in this case? Went. Went, right? We have went. That's the verb. You have here? Went. They attended. Ah, okay, okay. Where is the next sentence up to? Hasta donde llegaría la siguiente oración? Play. They attended a play. They attended a play, right? They attended a play. And what is the verb in that case? Play. Play. Mm, no. Attended. attended. Very good. They attended a play. What is a play? Una, what? Partida, creo yo. Mm, no, una partida. They went to the theater. They went to the theater to see a play. What is a play then? If you see this in the theater. Una película, un film. No, in the theater, the movie theater is where you go and watch the movies, right? But the theater, it's humans acting. Theater. Uh huh? The theater. Theaters. How what what do you do? What do you see on the theater? ¿Qué vamos a ver al teatro? Yeah. Obra. Obras, right? A play. It's it's una obra, right? Una obra de teatro. 
-huh. que people we need to go to the theater more often. Ya vi que los tengo que llevar al teatro más seguido. Es bonito ir al teatro. Yeah. Vaya, está bien bonito. It's very beautiful. Yeah, the experience is fantastic. I love to go to the theater. It's one of my favorite Muchas places. obras son gratis. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Definitely. So, where is the next sentence up to? Hasta donde va la siguiente? The play. At seven. Okay, at seven. Because here is the period, right? Hasta ahí llega el punto. What is the verb of that sentence? Play. Mm -hmm. started. started. Very good. Because in this case, it is started, right? It's started. Why? Because the play is the subject, right? Cuando nos referimos a the play, es el sujeto de la oración. La obra started, it's comenzó. ¿A qué hora comenzó? At seven. At seven, right? At seven. Let's go to the next one. What is the next sentence? Charles and Beth enjoy the theater. What is the verb in this case? Enjoyed. Enjoyed, right? Enjoyed. Enjoyed. This is the verb. This is the action that was happening, right? Because Charles and Beth is a subject. Enjoyed is the verb and the theater is the complement, right? The next sentence. Can you tell me where is the other sentence uh, complete? After the play, <laughs> Charles and Beth walk together in the park. Exactly like that, right? After the play, Charles and Beth walked together in the park. What is the verb in this sentence? Walk. Walked, right? Walked. Because in this case, after the play, sería la eh, marca de tiempo, right? After the play. Charles and Beth, ¿qué sería en ese caso? Subject. The subject. subject. Walk is the verb, and together in the park is the complement. Very good job. Let's continue here. They walked. They walked beside the lake. They went beside the lake. They walk beside the lake. What is the verb here? Walk. Walked. walked right. They walked beside the lake. They, ¿quién es they en este caso? Ellos. Can... Charles and Beth. Ajá, pero ¿quién okay. es ellos? Ajá, Charles and... and Beth. And Beth, right? Because you cannot repeat. En casos como este, cuando estamos contando una historia, nosotros decimos, vea, en buen salvadoreño, y yo iba no sé qué, y yo le dije, y yo estaba, y yo fui, y yo no sé qué. O si no, si estamos hablando de María, la vecina, y la María, no sé qué, y María aquí, que allá, y María esto, y María aquello. Ocupamos el sujeto bien repetido. Entonces, en los casos del idioma, tenemos Charles and Beth, y en la siguiente oración, lo podemos sustituir por un pronombre. And you say, Charles and Beth, and in the second sentence, you say, they, they walk beside the park. And then you can mention, Charles was doing this, and Beth was doing that, and they were doing Okay, for you not to repeat the name in many times. The next one, it says, the moon was bright. What is the verb in this case? Was. Was, okay. Because you are talking about the moon and you are describing how the moon was. And you say, the moon was bright. In this case, estaba como brillante. The moon was bright. And... The next sentence that we have here is, they talked about their future. What is the verb in this sentence? Talk. Talked, right? They talk. They talk about what? About the future. About the future. Any future? Their. Their future, okay. right? They talk about their future. No, el del, del futuro de inglés corporativo, no. The future of Charles and Beth, right? Tú y yo forever and ever together, right? <laughs> Charles and Beth. <laughs> the next one you have here. When Charles and Beth went home, their children were not asleep. Aha. So, 
Tell me, are Charles and Beth very young? No. No, because they're children. Because they have children, right? They have children. Hasta aquí habían pensado que Charles y Beth eran novios. But no. Uh, uh, uh. They are husband and wife. They have children. Uh -huh. They have children, right? So sorry. And here we have, when, Char <laughs> when Charles and Beth went home, so this is the first verb that we have here, when they went home, their children were not asleep. What is the meaning of asleep? That they were not sleeping, right? They were still awake, right? ¿Qué me trajiste, mamá? ¿Qué me trajiste? That's the question. <laughs> As soon as they enter from the theater, right? Me trajiste churro, me trajiste palomita, me trajiste algo. Nothing. They went home and their children were not asleep, right? The children were still awake. And they waited for Charles and Beth to return. What is the verb for the children? Waited. Waited, right? They waited for Charles and Beth to return. And the last sentence that we have here is, they were excited to hear about the theater. Right? Charles and Beth se querían llegar a acostar a dormir, but no, no, no. They are going to talk about the theater. How was the theater? It says here, they were excited to hear about the theater. Who is they? In this case, ¿quién es they in este caso? The children. Well, the are... children, right? The children, because no. it says, it says here, and we have the same subject. The, when Charles and Beth went home, their children were not asleep. They waited for Charles and Beth to return. They were excited to hear about the theater. Seguimos hablando de los niños, ¿verdad? Their children, they and they. And here we have, uh, they were excited to hear about the theater. In this case, what is the verb? Where? They were, ex it's very good. You're gonna give me a message excited, but no. They were excited. In the case of this one, you say the verb in this case is are, in the past tense is where, they were excited to hear about the theater, right? So there you go, there you have it. And for sure, right, as you are talking about the kids, <clears throat> it says, Charles told the children, right, we have here, Charles told the children about the play. Okay, wait, it's not this one, it's this one. Charles told the children about the play. What is the verb in our sentence? Told. Told, right? Told. told. The children about the play. And the last one that we have here, it's then Beth put the children to bed. What is the verb? Put. Put, put. right? They, she put the children to bed. Charles and Beth were very tired. Charles well. and Beth were very tired, exactly, right? Here. And for sure, the verb is were. Yeah. They were very tired. ¿Cómo se sentían? They were very tired. Very it tired. was a good night, right? It was a good night. And in this one, the last verb that we have here is was <clears throat> so when we are starting with the past tense this is a very good practice right cuando vamos iniciando con el estudio de pasado esa es una práctica muy buena que agarren un párrafo cualquiera que esté en pasado y que lo vayan expulgando le digo yo así cuál es la oración cuál es el verbo qué sucede quién es quién ok hay que leer para comprender y nos hacemos preguntas como yo le voy haciendo ¿verdad? quiénes eran ¿A qué se refiere? ¿Dónde estaban? Okay. What are the places mentioned in the reading? ¿Qué lugares se mencionan en la lectura? 
the theater. The park. The park. Lake. The lake. <laughs> home. The home. Okay. And where where is the bed? In which place the of bed. the house? The bed. What is the name of this place? Hi. Donde está la room. cama? The bed. The room. The bedroom, <laughs> right? The bedroom. Porque ahí está la cama. Donde está el baño? The bathroom. Okay. The bathroom, <laughs> so, the, bathroom. the bathroom and the bedroom, right? So that this is a very good practice, right? This is a very, very good practice. I have here one, two, three, four paragraphs. I need four volunteers to help me read it. I am going to take out the color, okay? Necesito cuatro voluntarios to read the four paragraphs. This is paragraph number one. This is paragraph number two. Okay, this is paragraph number two. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, I have one volunteer. This is paragraph number three. And this is paragraph number four. Okay. Lo voy a hacer más grandecito porque no veo. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, ahorita. Ahorita lo hago más grande. Let me see. Uy, muy grande. <laughs> There you go. Aquí lo veo perfecto, pero está cortado. <laughs> okay, here we go. Thank you, Guadalupe. You are number two. Ana Ruth is number three. I need one more for number four. Okay, on the progress. Thank Yo you, primero. Adriana. Yes, Wendy, go ahead. Okay. Solo, help me. <laughs> It's When okay. you say Anton? Autumn. 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 Yes. Okay. When Autumn evening, Charles and Beth went to the theater, they attend, attended. Attended a play. I see. Attended a play. The play started at seven, seven o'clock. Uh -huh. Charles and Beth enjoyed the theater. Very good. The theater. Theater. The theater. Very the good. Theater. 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 Guadalupe, number two. After, after the play, Charles and Beth walked together in the park. They walked beside the lake. The moon was bright. They talked about their future. Very good job. And I wrote number three. When Charles and Beth went home, their children were not asleep. They, wait, they waited for Very Charles good. and Beth to return. They were excited to hear about theater. The theater. Uh -huh. And Adrián, the last one. Charles told the children about the play. Then Beth put the children to bed. Charles and Beth were very tired. It was a good night. Excellent job. Fantastic reading people, reactions for your friends. They did a very good job reading. Congratulations. You did a very good job. Wow, nice. Awesome, right? Awesome. Theater. Asleep. Charles. Charles. Okay, Charles. Excellent job on the reading. Very good. It was a very good job, my dear students. Very nice. So <clears throat> as you can see, this is an excellent practice for vocabulary, for grammar, for sentences, for reading, right? It has everything. And I always say, que le digan, ay, que le digan loco, que le digan inventor, que le digan como sea. Leer en voz alta ayuda un montón. Agarrar un párrafo y leerlo en voz alta. So one autumn evening, Charles and Beth went to the theater. They attended a play. The play started at seven. Charles and Beth enjoyed the theater. You have to listen to yourself talking, right? Porque aquí arriba, bien lindo leemos. Ay, aquí hasta casi native speaker me sale, vea. Aquí, almost American. It happened to me, right? Me pasó a mí la primera vez. When I was reading on a book and I got a book, right? I remember I got a book and I was like, okay, let's start. 
are you trying to tell me who won? And I was like, ah, 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 ah. come on, yo leo más bonito aquí arriba. Y yo, ¿qué pasa? And I started with the activity. I started practicing and practicing and practicing. And it helps a lot, right? Ayuda un montón que usted se escuche como le, como respeta las pausas, como va la entonación, okay? Porque solo así, it's very, very difficult. Adrianita, do you have a question or it's just your hand up? Se nos quedó la manita levantada. Thank you very much. So this is a very good practice. It's a very excellent practice. So let's move on business. As you can see here, I am going to take out the color. I have here what I was telling you yesterday, right? The sentences in simple past and the sentences in negative, also in past, right? I studied on Sunday. I didn't study, right? When you have the auxiliary here, the verb is going to be normal again. And here you have, you watch television. You didn't watch a movie, right? She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Saturday. Didn't, it's did not. You can use it any of the ways possible. Si me dicen que está bien uh, contractado o sin contractar, yo les digo si les cuesta contractar, utilicenlo en su forma normal. El mensaje es el mismo, right? Didn't, did not. Help me to read the sentences. Let's read the first one. I studied on Sunday. I studied on Sunday. I studied on Sunday. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. I didn't study on Sunday. Didn't study on Sunday. You watch television. You watch television. You didn't watch a movie. You didn't, you didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She stayed she home. Stayed home. She didn't stay out. She didn't stay out. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We, we shopped for, shop for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercise on Saturday. They, they, they exercise on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Very good. So if we want to create sentences with the affirmative sentence, if we want to create questions, sorry, with the affirmative sentence, how would you make the question? ¿Cómo armaríamos la pregunta con esta base? Did you study on Sunday? Very good job. Did you study on Sunday? Did you, right? Did you study on Sunday? Okay. In Spanish, we have a very common thing that we ask questions to ourselves, right? En español nos preguntamos a nosotros mismos un montón. Apague la plancha. Cerre la puerta. Apague la cocina. Ya saque la ropa. Lave la ropa. Apague los frijoles. And we are asking questions to ourselves all the time. In English, it's not very common. Ajá. Y las llaves. <laughs> me traje la llave. No me acuerdo. <laughs> so those are questions that we do. In Spanish, it's very common. But in English, it's more common that you ask someone else. And you can say, Hey, I studied all the weekend. Did I study on Sunday? I don't remember. Maybe if we have a little bit of Alzheimer, maybe, right? We ask ourselves a lot. Did you study on Sunday? What about the next one? What will be the next question about the television? Did you watch television? Did you watch television? Very good. What about number three? Did she? Stay home. Did she stay home? Very good. Number four. Did we shop for groceries? Did we shop for groceries? And the last one. Did they exercise on Saturday? Did they exercise on Saturday? Perfect job, right? Did they exercise on Saturday? 
very good job. So I have more examples, right? I have more examples here. In this one, <laughs> I finished already. I did it for you. Ya se los puse listos. Ah, no guardé la otra que no la tenía listos. But it's okay. I sent you this one already. Regrese ya lo había mandado de todas maneras. And it says, finish. How do you make this one into a past tense? So you say, finished with ed, right? My brother and I finished our homework a few minutes ago. Okay, and in this one, I want you to analyze something. Susan liked sk skating when she was a girl. Joe broke his leg three weeks ago. I met my best friend, George, in 2005. My parents went to the theater yesterday evening. He watched a very scary horror film last night. Emma didn't go to school when she was ill. Where did you leave your jacket? Did you hate broccoli when you were a child? Peter read a very interesting book yesterday. What is something that we can highlight from these sentences? Todas estas oraciones tienen algo bien específico que las marca como un pasado. What is it? What is something time. that makes them? Uh -huh. Tiempo. The time, no exactly. The, 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 the time expressions. Mm -hmm. Very good. The time expressions. Can you give me the first example of a time expression? A few minutes ago. A few minutes ago. Okay, ¿cuándo pasó esto? Hace unos minutitos. But that's past tense, okay? Un segundo puede haber pasado. And that's past tense, okay? I was explaining the negatives a minute ago, right? And that is past tense. What about the next one? What is the, the time expression for the next one? Last night, teacher. Oh, no, no, no. Number two, Susan? Skating. Mm, skating. Skating when is skating. When she was a girl. Ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. Right? When she was a girl. ¿Cuándo pasó? Mm -hmm. When she was a girl. Mm -hmm. Susan likes skating. ¿Le gusta todavía mm -hmm. esquiar? No. She likes skating when she was a girl. Right? But not anymore. What about number three, Joe? Weeks ago. Three weeks ago, right? ¿Cuándo se quebró la patita? Three weeks ago. <laughs> right? He broke his leg. Three weeks ago. Not yesterday, not last night. Three weeks ago, right? What about the next one? George. Mm, 2005. 2005, right? In 2005. Let's see the next one. Yesterday evening, right? Yesterday evening. Fue ayer, pero no fue ayer en cualquier momento. Fue yesterday evening. Okay. He watched a very scary horror film last night. Last night. Okay. Emma didn't go to school when she was ill. When she was ill, right? Cuando estaba enferma, no fue. In this one, where did you leave your jacket? Tenemos time expression ahí? No, we don't have. Because if I say, for example, si diría aquí, where did you leave your jacket last night? Ahí sí. ¿Dónde dejaste tu jacket anoche? Ah, we don't know. Where did you leave your jacket? We don't have expression. But what about the next one? Did you hate broccoli? When you were a child. When you were a when child. Were a child. Peter read a very interesting book. Yes, yesterday. 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 Okay. If I ask you people about something that you did before the class, 
what did you do before the class? So you can say, I had, I had dinner before the class. What did you do before the class? ¿Qué hicieron ustedes antes de la clase? I drank coffee. I drank coffee, right? I drank coffee. That's good. What is another thing that you did before the class? Ah. Lo voy a ir uno por uno, vamos a ver. Before the class, what did you do? Voy a empezar desde abajo. Eric Javier, what did you do before the class? Eric Javier Ventura Cruz, hello. <laughs> hello what did you do before the class? I uh, had dinner before the class. I had dinner before the class. Katy Callejas? Señorita Katy. Hey, hoy solo tengo tres cámaras de todos mis alumnos. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa esta uh, vez? In my dinner before class. I made dinner before the class, right? I made dinner before the class. Okay, el último que encienda la cámara le va a tocar hacer un párrafo entero. Vamos a ver. Ay, Dios, un montón le va a tocar. La última cámara que vea encendida va a ser un párrafo entero. Ya veo a Reina, muy bien. Reina, what did you do before the class? Okay, I put my children to sleep. I put my children to bed. <laughs> because if you yeah. put the, if you put them yeah. to sleep it's what like I'm sorry <laughs> put them to sleep a dormir niño <laughs> you went to oh, sleep. Right. No, I put my children <laughs> to bed. bed that's good Buena Margarita okay. what did you do before the class este Mm, I... o sea, a ver, a ver. Ajá. Tele, me pongo. <risa> Ajá. ¿Qué hizo? Dígame la actividad que hizo antes de clase. Tell me one activity. Juanita. Una actividad que hiciste antes de clase. Ay, es que no puedo decir como cenar. I had, oh, you have the same example as me. I had dinner. I had dinner. Or I took. I have dinner. I had dinner, okay. I have Good. dinner. Jorge Francisco, what did you do before the class? Jorge Francisco López. Mm -hmm. right to hospital. I. You arrived to the hospital. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Hombre, okay. hombre de hospital. Caro <laughs> Daniel, what did you do before the class? Sorry. What did you do before the class? I drank a cup of coffee and I ate two Toto Postes. Oh, you ate two Toto Postes and a cup of coffee. Very, yep. sa very San Miguel thing. Are you from San Miguel? <laughs> I'm from La Union. Oh, that's why. You're from La Union. Okay, good. Bring yeah. some Toto Postes Thank to you. San Salvador, okay? Sandra okay, Beatriz. Next time. Yeah, for sure. I will be waiting for them. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, Sandrita, what did you do before the class? I was talking with the family. I was talking with my family, right? I was talking with my family. Very good job. Ana Ruth? Ana Ruth Perez, what did you do before the class? I celebrated the, uh, my daughter's birthday. Ah, you celebrated your daughter's birthday. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Congratulations to your daughter, right? So that's an example of the things. Thank you. Thank you. 
those are examples of things that you can express about what happened right before doing another activity. <clears throat> I have here another practice, right? And on this one, we have a little story. This was a little story and it says, for example, right here, it announced. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just, how would you complete it here? I just stayed. 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 I just stayed home and watched, watched, watched television. Watch television, right? And watch television. On Saturday, I visited. Visited, right? Visited my friend Frank. We talked. We talked. We talked about. We talked and listen. Listen, listen, right? Listened to music. In the evening, he invited. invited, he invited some friends over and we cooked. cooked. And we cooked a great meal. I didn't work. I didn't work. Very good. I didn't work. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I, I didn't, didn't study, right? I didn't study at all. I just walked, home. walked to the mall, to the mall, sorry. I just walked to the mall and shopped. And shopped. And there you go, right? That's the story. Kathy is driving, they say, be careful. Be careful, Cuddy. Let's see. I am going to ask one of my boys to read it. Let me see. And chan, chan, chan. David Alejandro, can you help me to read it? David Cito. David Alejandro. Five, four, three, two, one. David Rafael, can you help me to read it? Three, two, one. Oh my God. What part? All the paragraph. Um, on Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed at home and watched it. Watched. And watch, watch, it, watch. Watched television on Saturday. I visited. My friend Frank will talk and listen to music in the, in evening. the evening. He invited some friends over, some friends over, and we cook a great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I just walked to the mall and shopped. Very good. I just walked to the mall and shopped. Very good. I stayed, watched, talked, listened, invited, cooked, right? Walked. That's the pronunciation of the verbs in this exercise. Very good exercise. Thank you very much. Here, I am going to share another one for all of you. And this is about your own information. And you are going to tell me, teacher, last night, I, and here you have, I stay home or I didn't stay home? Last week, I exercise or I didn't exercise? Last month, I shopped for clothes or I didn't shop? Last year, I visited or I didn't visit a different country? Choose your sentences. Affirmative or negative? Depending on your reality, right? Eso va a depender lo que ustedes han hecho o no han hecho. Did you watch television yesterday? You can say yesterday I watched television. Or say, no, teacher, I didn't watch. Let's see. 
Uh, I'm going to ask Guadalupe. Guadalupe, did you stay home last night? Yes, I did. Yesterday, I stay at home. I stay at home last I night. I stay at home last night. Very good job. What about Wendy? Did you exercise every day last week? So you say, last week, I... Last week, I exercise every day. Very good. I exercise every day. Yeah, I know that you went to the gym. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Number four, Cynthia. Number four, Cynthia. Did you shop for clothes last month? Did last you... month, I uh -huh. didn't shop for clothes. Hmm. Neither did I. I was like, nah. Let's see. Uh, I will go with Lorena. Lorena, did you visit a different country last year? Lorena. Hola. Did you visit a different country last year? Sí, sería que. Yes. So you say last yes. year I. Last year I. Visited. Visited a different country. Very good job. Last year I visited a different country. Oscar, tell me. I didn't visit a different country because I didn't have money. Ah. <laughs> Little detail, right? Little detail. I say, I always say that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Si viajar fuera gratis, no me vuelven a ver. <laughs> but it's not, right? It's like, ah, alca okay, me gusta El Salvador un montón. A mí me gusta un montón mi país. Sí, se los aseguro. Y yo siempre le digo, hay que conocer el propio antes de conocer otro. Because there are many beautiful places in our country, right? Si nos preguntan, uh, creo que conocemos la cuarta parte de todo el país. Because there are many beautiful places that we don't know. So, in this case, did you see the form of question that I did? That's like, did you stay home last night? Right? That's the form of question. Did you exercise every day last week? Did you shop for clothes last month? Did you visit a different country last year? Right? You put the sentence, the time expression at the end on the question. But on the answer, you say, yes, teacher. Yesterday, I watched TV. And you can answer like that. Oscarito, yes? Sorry, teacher. Ask me a question, ok, voy a ser el primero. Iba a pedir voluntarios para que me preguntaran, pero ya tengo la primera mano okay. levantada. Teacher, did you? What did you do last night, teacher? <laughs> last night, I, I taught classes and I watched TV after that. And I ate pupusas last night. Ok. What time did you get up? Uh... Go what? to go, go to sleep. What time what? did you go to sleep? Very good question. At eleven thirty. Okay. At eleven thirty, I was watching TV. <laughs> Cuando me vine a encontrar en la once, and I was like, I have to sleep. I said I need to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I was watching <laughs> Netflix. Yeah, guilty. Atrapada. Yeah, I was watching Netflix yesterday. Questions, teacher? Did you? Questions, questions, questions. Did you like tea with milk? Did you like? Did you like coffee with milk? I cannot get your question. Decímelo un poquito más fuerte. Did you like? Coffee with milk. Ah, okay. The coffee with milk. I like it. And I like it before, and I will like it in the future, definitely. <laughs> Good, excellent. Another question. Hello, Roberto. I can see you now. Okay, preguntas. Vamos, preguntas. Teacher, did you? Did you have a good morning today? I did. I had a beautiful day today. It was a very, very beautiful day. 
Any other question? I have a question for you. Hello, teacher. Hello, uh -huh. Hello Roberto. Se me había la aplicación de Zoom, se me había cerrado. Oh, este Zoom que no nos dejaba entrar, Roberto. Tell me something that you hated when you were children. Something that you hated when you were children. Something that you hated when you were children. Algo que odiaban cuando eran chiquitos. Abrí, Mateo, abrí. No, Mateo, no. todos lo querían. <laughs> Something that you hated when you were children. Nothing. Oh, le gustaba esto. Went to the dentist. Ah, to go to the dentist. Oh, I think everybody hates it, right? Yo creo que nu nunca llegas a la edad donde lo amas definitivamente. <laughs> Just, yeah, ya de adulto ya ni modo. To go to the dentist, right? I hated to go to the dentist. Another one. I hated Pacaya when I was a kid. <laughs> I didn't like it. And it was like, ¿Cómo se nada? No, it was horrible. Horror movies, did you like them when you were a kid? Did you like horror movies when you were a kid? I don't like it. You don't like them either. Still, you don't like them, right? That is something that I didn't like when I was a kid. So here we have a little bit about irregular verbs, right? This is about the last thing that we're going to study, right? In the irregular ones, for sure, they have their specific form, okay? Si se fijan, aquí hemos estado como usando los verbos regulares con ed, right? Here we go with the irregular forms that you already know them as well, right? I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. I got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. You went to the museum. You didn't go where? To the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early, right? I asked el papá con el chile, you know. Okay, there you have here at the back. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party, right? You have affirmatives and negatives with irregular forms. And here I have a couple of more examples, right? Just give me a second here. I need you to help me to transform this one, right? Van a ayudar a transformarlas a pasado. He goes to bed early. In this case, we have the verb here. That is the one that we need to make past tense. He went to bed early, right? We don't like onions. The negative, we didn't like onions, right? A steward lives in Vancouver. What is the past tense form of this one? ¿Cómo la haría? Uh -huh. Lived. Okay. A steward lived in Vancouver. Help me with the next one, okay? En lo que les paso lista, Trabajenme las otras oraciones. On your notebook. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Work on the other sentences on your notebook. And I am going to call the attendance. Le voy a pasar lista mientras trabajan eso. Okay. And here I go. Let's work on that one.
Ok, chicos, ya la mayoría terminaron la plataforma. Creo que desde los nombrecitos que nos enviaron que hacían falta, estamos todos ya, ¿verdad? Veamos quiénes eran los que nos faltaban. Eh, David y Rafael, ¿ya terminaste la plataforma? Sí, ya la terminé. Excelente. Diana Beatriz. ¿Terminaste la plataforma? No, pero okay. ahora no mucho la termino. Porfa, porque estás ahí pendiente todavía. Josué Abel, ¿terminaste la plataforma? Josué Abel, Luna. Josué, Josué. Ok, y Laura Lisset, ¿tuviste chance de terminarla ahorita? Sí, ya todo está completo. Excellent. Okay, let's go with the attendance. Ana Isela. Present teacher. Ana Ruth. Yes. Present. Present, sorry. Brian Francisco. Carlos Ernesto. Están escribiendo en el chat present. Okay. Brian Francisco and Carlos Hernández. Thank you very much. Cynthia Marisol. Present. Thank you very much. Gracias a mis ojos en el chat. Me encanta eso. David Alejandro. David yeah. Alejandro. Thank you very much. David Rafael. Present. Diana Beatriz. Present. Diego Rodrigo. Dieguito Rodrigo. Where are you? Veamos. Bueno, día Dieguito conectado. <coughs> Eric Javier. Present. Fátima Ivín. Jorge Francisco. Hey, present teacher. Josué Abel. <coughs> Josué. Thank you <laughs> on the chat. Juana Margarita. Present teacher. Catherine Jamile. Thank you, Catherine. Oh, yeah, you're driving. It's true. And Laura Lisette. Present teacher. Lorena Araceli. Lorenita. Present teacher. Mirna Yasmin. Mirnita. Ok, se me perdió Mirnita, la acabo de ver ahí. Eh, Oscar Otoniel. Present teacher. Reina Jael. Present. Roberto Carlos. Robertito. Hemos perdido a Robertito otra vez. Aquí estoy otra vez. Otra vez ya, me, ya volví. Otra vez. Great, great. Thank Porque you. Quizás el internet está malo. Sí, a lo mejor. Eh, Sandra Beatriz. Sandrita. Present. Ok, ya. <risa> ok, but that's good. Guadalupe. Present. Uh, Tatiana Abigail. Tati. Eh, let's see. Eh, Úrsula Adriana. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Lisset. Present. Thank you very much. Okay. And I have Adri and Tati. I didn't see her connected. Okay. <clears throat> good. Let's go to work here. Let's go back to our presentation. And on the presentation, I need you to help me. I need one volunteer for number four. Did she exercise? Did she exercise? Very good. Number five? I hate, I hate cooking. cooking. I hated cooking, right? I hate it, hate it. Very good. Terminante? 
Terminante va con ID. Number six. They played video games. They played video games. Very good. Number seven. He knew the answer. He knew the answer. Very good job. He knew the answer. Number eight. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Very good. Number nine. They did. They didn't study history. They didn't study history. Very good. They didn't study history. And number 10. Did they, did they drive? Did they drive? Did they drive? Excellent job. Nice people. It was not really difficult. Identify the verb, right? Les dejo estas para mañana. This is your homework, okay? A screenshot them, please. I need to take this one out. Okay, le voy a borrar esta. And I'm going to send it to you so you can practice and have them ready for the class. The only difference on this one, affirmative, negative, and interrogative, okay? Aquí le llevo un poquito más allá del otro nivel. No solo en pasado, pasado. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative, okay? So you are going to say, Jenny worked at a hotel. Jenny didn't work at a hotel. Did Jenny work at a hotel? And there you have the three different forms. I'm going to send the picture to the group and I need you to write the three forms of sentences, okay? So here we have, and I'm going to send you the example. Jenny worked at a hotel. There you have the first one. There you have the next one. Jenny didn't work at a hotel. And the last one, did Jenny work at a hotel? And there you go, okay? So this is going to be the homework to transform the sentences into the three versions in past, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. There you have the picture and there you have the example. Well, my dear students, we are almost, almost about to finish right? And tomorrow we are going to study a little bit more on the past tenses, okay? So have a wonderful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class.